So we have some shrimp that are defrosted going into the bottom of our crock pot. We have some sea scallops. And we have some wild caught crab meat. Yum. You can of course use the imitation crab, but I'm going for the real crab meat for this. I actually found it on sale, which is great. Always check for those sales at your local grocery store. We are bringing in a can of cream of celery and I'm gonna show you guys this really cool tip. We're gonna take our spoon, we're gonna pop it in like this. And now you don't need to break your nails when you open up a can, how about that? Whoa! I know, super great. We're just gonna take this can here of our cream of celery and place it right in there. So good. Love this seafood delight here. Seafood delight. And we're going to use two cans. So this is 10 and a half ounces in each can. There we go. Okay. Wonderful. Next, we're going to take that empty can and we're going to take our 2% milk. You can use any kind of milk that you'd like, but we're just going to fill up that empty can just like this with our milk, whatever milk you choose. We're going to give it a little stir here, get all that creamy goodness out. Excellent. I'm gonna do that with the other can too. So we've got two full cans of cream of celery and two full cans of our milk of choice. There we go. No wasting, very good. Yeah, let me know what kind of milk you guys would like to use with this. I bet a whole milk would be like extra creamy. Mm -hmm. But if you don't do the milk thing, you could use like a cashew milk or almond milk, something like that. Definitely. Okay, wow, this is looking fantastic. We're just gonna get this incorporated together here. Yummy. Before we pop this lid on, we are gonna season it up with some Old Bay seasoning. Yes. Goes great with everything. Scrumptious. We are gonna add a little bit of parsley. Great little greenery here. Fantastic. And we're gonna add a little bit of black pepper goes really well with seafood. All right, I love that grinder. Big chunks. All right, and just like that, super easy, you guys. We're gonna pop this lid on just like this. We're gonna turn our crock pot to high, and we'll be back. Wow. Oh my goodness, this really smells incredible. Very creamy, very delicious. Looks like everything cooked up really nicely. Wow. Okay, before we serve this up, I am gonna go ahead and add some pasta. I pre-cooked these linguinis here and this looks amazing. Ooh, you guys, this can be used as like a soup recipe or you can make it with pasta. You can even serve this over rice if you wanted to. Wow, look at that. Okay, well, if you've been following me long enough, you guys know I don't eat seafood. I think it smells great, it looks great, it's just not my thing. So instead I'm gonna have my dear friend Olivia give this a try for us, let us know what she thinks. I'm sure you follow her videos as well because she's a great cook. Okay, I'm super excited to try this. Let's take a scoop. Thanks for trying this for me, Olivia. Uh, yeah, I love pasta, I love seafood. Oh, yum, look at that. I need to get a shrimp. Scallops in there. Yes. yes. Oh gosh. A little bit more pasta. Mm hmm. Yeah, and you can always add more pasta if you want it to be like a creamier pasta. That's kind of more like a soup. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm just going to drizzle oh, on yeah. some soup. There you, there go. you go. All right, let's go ahead and try a bite. Very excited. It's very steamy. It is. I can see Ooh. that steam from here. Okay. Ooh, that looks like a good yeah. bite. Yeah. Ooh. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Really good. Ooh, I'm glad she likes it.